What's up guys? I hope you are all doing well. The whole point of me making today's video is to give you a bit of a kick up the arse and to actually get you on your journey, on your way to actually living the life you want to live and pursuing a career that you genuinely want to follow. I would imagine that the majority of people who are watching this video are either working a job that they hate or maybe unemployed, or maybe they're actually enjoying the job that they have, but they just wish they had more free time to do the things that they actually want to do. For those people who don't know, I used to be a personal trainer. That was my full-time job. I was working all day, every day in a gym, training my clients, and that was pretty much my life. It wasn't bad, but um, certainly felt as though I was capable of more. And boy, oh boy, did I achieve more. I've got to the point where I am today, where I've been able to grow a following of millions. I've been able to build numerous businesses. I've invested in numerous businesses, have multiple revenue streams, and I basically have potential sponsors throwing themselves at me left, right, and center. And at the same time, I also have a crazy amount of freedom. And I don't think it's fair that I should be able to be the person that lives a life like that whilst you guys aren't living the life which you could potentially live because I'm going to be honest with you, it is well within your capability. Don't just think because I did it, only I can do it, nobody else can do it. You're completely wrong, right? Literally, you will be surprised at what you are capable of. If you just put in a bit of work, take a couple of risks and just go for it. So over the next 20 minutes, I'm going to share with you my journey, how I've been able to make that transition and how you two can also make that transition yourself. Now, when it comes to career paths, I would imagine the majority of you who are watching this probably aged between 20 to 35 years old. You've either gone down the route of going down the formal education system where you went to college, you got a degree, you then applied to work at a job for a big company, a corporation, and you just kind of are slowly working your way up the ranks to hopefully retire with a semi-decent payout but no doubt you'll be 65 at that point and you probably wouldn't really have lived a huge amount of life. Because what life can you be living at that age? You may be in another scenario where you sacked off university, maybe tried a few things here and there. You might be in the position where you're working for someone else, or maybe you are working for yourself now, you're self-employed, but you're not doing the thing that you really want to be doing, or you feel as though you're just overwhelmed with work and you still don't really have the financials or the freedom to show for it. I'll tell you what happened to me. So, short story, some of you guys probably already know it, but for those who don't know, I went to a good school, not gonna lie, got good grades. I certainly worked hard to get those grades at GCSE A level. It allowed me to go to university. I went to university because I believe that was the thing that you were supposed to do because everybody around me was doing it. That's what my dad told me to do. That's just was the thing to do at that point in time. Bear in mind, this was a long time ago when I was 18 years old. So I went to university, studied economics and business management at Newcastle University. And very quickly, I came to the realization that university was not gonna be for me. First of all, the subjects that I was getting taught had absolutely nothing to do with how to run a business and had nothing to do with teaching you the skills needed to run a business. And at the same time, those lecturers and teachers who were educating me had absolutely no experience when it came to making money or running a business. So I thought the whole thing was a bit of a joke, really. In fact, the only thing I really cared about at that point in time was just going to the gym. And obviously, because I didn't care, I didn't put the effort in, I didn't study, and I literally scraped a pass. Thankfully, I didn't fail my degree, but I got a third. So a third in translation basically means, okay, well done, you you just about got a degree. In hindsight, that was a blessing in disguise because realistically, what big company or corporation was gonna hire a guy that had got a third and had absolutely no work experience? Of course, they were gonna go for the people who got a first or a, a two one, the people who had got superior grades to me. So thankfully, that forced me to go down a different route where I had to get out there and I had to hustle. Long story short, I tried a number of different things, worked as a club promoter, did a little bit of modeling, ended up working as a manager for a retail store, Hollister, for a year and a half. And then I just knew that the only thing that I really wanted to do was go to the gym and just be in a gym. So I transitioned to working in that store to actually becoming a personal trainer. My career didn't blow up instantly. In fact, it was pretty hard graft to try to get my first few clients. But nevertheless, I persisted, put in the hard work. And I think after a couple of months, I had a pretty solid 
client base. I managed to put some money aside, teamed up with another personal trainer who was a friend of mine, and we uh, we took a gamble, put some savings together, and we opened up our own studio. So at that point in time, I was content. I was reasonably happy. I had a good job. I was doing what I enjoyed to do. I was making okay money. It wasn't crazy money. Of course, I was in the north of England. I couldn't charge crazy amount of money and I had overheads, but it was good. I mean, at least I was my own boss. I could choose the hours that I wanted to work, even though I was pretty much working all the time. But at least I had the freedom to take a day off if I wanted to take a day off. And hey, I was in the gym doing what it was that I loved to do. So couldn't really complain. I could have, if I really wanted to, stayed at that job. Okay, I predicted what my future would look like if I stayed in that cushy, comfortable position. Could have got on more clients, maybe opened up another facility, maybe got some more coaches on board. Revenue would have gone up a little bit, no doubt. And maybe would have had enough money to take a loan out, get a mortgage, get a house, lease a car, treat myself to a couple of holidays, and maybe find myself a partner, raise a family, and kind of that be it living a simple life in Newcastle upon Tyne. But I'll tell you what, folks, that was not for me. The prospect of that didn't make me happy at all. In fact, it made me anxious. It was certainly a life that I did not want to live. I felt as though I was capable of a lot more. I saw a lot of potential in myself. And this was round about the time when social media was on the rise. So things were changing. Now, keep in mind, I wasn't that bothered about money. If I was purely motivated by making money, I would have gone down another career path and done something else, which would have been financially lucrative. But that wasn't what I was about. I didn't want to stay in an office. I didn't want to do finances or anything like that. I just wanted to do something relating to the gym. But one thing which became apparent to me was how much I appreciated freedom, okay? Not only the freedom of being my own boss and choosing when it was that I worked, but also having the freedom to be anywhere in the world and also do my job. And this was the thing which was urging me and forcing me to take a leap and do something different. Because the problem was at that point in time, being a personal trainer, I would wake up early in the morning, go train my client, first client at like seven o'clock in the morning. This could have been in the middle of winter. The winters in the UK are pretty depressing, so it'd be dark. I'd have to scrape the ice off my car, drive my Vauxhall Corsa to the gym, open the gym up, train that first client whilst I'd still wear a coat, woolly hat and gloves because the gym was freezing. And then I'd pretty much be basing myself there all day, coaching my clients, training myself in between, and then leaving the gym eight, nine o'clock, going home, prepping my meals, and then repeating the same thing again and again and again. Maybe if I was lucky, I'd go out at the weekend, see the familiar faces that I'd always see. Wasn't particularly inspired by anyone because everyone was just doing the same thing, living the same life. Nobody had any ambition. Nobody had any drive. It was just a place and an environment where I felt as though I was not going to progress if I stayed there and did nothing about it. So what could I do? What were my options? I knew I wanted to travel. I knew I wanted to make money anywhere in the world. So how could I do that? I didn't particularly have a diverse set of skills. I just had an ability to coach people. I knew how to get people in shape. So I thought to myself, well, if I can train loads of people in person, I could probably do it online as well. But the problem was there was no demand for my services online. Why was that? Because I didn't have much of a presence online. So I understood that if I wanted to create money online, I had to have a presence online. I had to have a following online. And although I did have a little bit of an Instagram following, it just wasn't converting. It wasn't the right platform for me. So that was when I figured out that what I need to do is I need to get onto YouTube, right? I need to create content. I need to let people know that I know my shit and I need to get as many eyeballs on my videos as much as possible. So what did I do? I said goodbye to all my clients. I said, I'm not training anyone anymore. I said goodbye to my friends. I walked away from my gym, picked up everything, relocated, started from scratch in London. Of course, this was a big risk because I was walking away from an extremely comfortable life, which I was living. And I went from earning an okay amount of money to basically nothing. The only money I had coming in was a thousand dollars a month from a supplement sponsor and that was it. So things were pretty desperate, but I was confident in myself that I could make it work. And I set myself a goal. I said, right, we're gonna absolutely smash YouTube. I'm gonna work on that full time. I'm gonna make it my mission to 
be making lots of money and living the life I've always wanted to live. And hey, guess what? Within one year, I'd grown to 300,000 subscribers. I was making comfortably over 30,000 pound a month just from coaching alone. And because of all the views I was getting, all the subscribers I had, I had multiple offers from different sponsors. I had affiliate links, which were making me a lot of money. And of course, I had the YouTube revenue as well. So I'd pretty much completely transformed my life around within a year. So things were going extremely well. I felt like I was getting recognition for my work and I was also financially in the best position that I'd ever been in. But still, there's something was missing. The whole point of me making this transition was to achieve this pursuit of freedom. And although financially I was in a much better position, I was still a slave to my time, a slave to my clients, because the big bulk of my income was coming from the clients that I was coaching online. And I had a lot of clients and it was a lot of time that I was investing into them. It was something that I just couldn't scale. So I decided to switch things around. I stopped the coaching and I brought out an app, an app which I could scale indefinitely and something which I could do because I had enough eyeballs on my content on a daily basis that would kind of confidently, you know, assure me that I would be able to make that money back. And guess what? In a very short period of time, I was making more money from the app than I was making from the coaching. And guess what? I had pretty much an unlimited amount of free time. Okay, I didn't have to coach anybody anymore. All I had to do was create content. And the funny thing was, at that point in time, I was still doing everything by myself. Okay, I had no staff. I had pretty much no overheads. The only overheads I had was rent. So it was extremely profitable what I was doing. And even though, yes, I had more time because I wasn't coaching people anymore, I was still spending a lot of time editing my videos. So I thought, you know what? Let's try and create some more free time for myself. Why don't I hire a cameraman? And I'll also hire someone to edit the videos as well. So I had my first cameraman who also edited everything. And guess what? That just freed up even more time and honestly wasn't even that expensive. And I remember documenting this. And people started to notice it. I was living a very good life. I was traveling the world, doing whatever it was that I wanted to do. And still, overhead's pretty low. Absolutely no responsibility. I was genuinely doing what it was that I loved to do. And that was to train, travel, and enjoy life. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, Mike, that's easy for you. You're pretty lucky. You were gifted with some good genetics and you're a pretty handsome guy. Like, it's easy for you. And although, yes, going down the route which I went down, I certainly had some advantages. Realistically, I just played the cards that I was dealt. Okay. Doesn't mean you have to be jacked or good looking to have success on social media. Okay, you look at some of the most successful people on social media, some of the people with the highest number of followers that are making the most money, they're not all jacked, they're not all handsome. Okay, they just work really hard and they're very good at what they do. So this is something that literally anybody can do as long as you are passionate enough about it and you're willing to work hard enough for it. And I'll be honest with you, getting started was not easy. Many of you probably just assume that I was just naturally a confident person who was good on camera, and that is not the case. I mean, if you go back to some old videos, you can see the difference. I hated being on camera. I didn't like speaking in public. In fact, I wasn't a very good speaker at all. And even when I was in social scenarios, I was usually the quietest guy in the room. In fact, that was something that was really frustrating. And I knew that I had this potential in me to be this more extroverted, outgoing individual, this, this character that I wanted to be, but I was stuck inside of my shell and I forced myself to come outside of that shell, to speak on camera, to be a better communicator, to be a better speaker, and to basically not give a fuck about what anybody says or thinks about me. And guess what? You can do the same thing. There's nothing holding you back. In fact, the only thing that's holding you back is you and your beliefs on what you can and can't achieve. You don't necessarily have to go down the route of being a fitness influencer like me. That's just the path that I took. There's many different paths that you can take and anybody can do it. All you need is internet access and a camera and you can just start creating content. You can make content on whatever it is that you want to make, whether it's something which is going to educate people or entertain people, or maybe you have a skill set which you can also share with others and teach them how it is that you do the things that you do. In terms of the other alternatives that you could potentially be pursuing that are going to offer the same level of financial freedom and just freedom to choose when it is that you work, you're kind of limited. I thought once about setting up a business 
maybe going down the route of opening gyms or starting a clothing brand or selling gym equipment. But the sheer cost involved with getting that up and running to begin with is so high. Honestly, it's not worth the risk, in my opinion. You gotta hire all the staff. It's gonna be a lot of stress. It's gonna be a full-time job, okay? It's not gonna be a nine to five. You're gonna be working probably double than you would be working doing a nine to five. So that kind of rules it out for me. Other option, you could potentially start an agency, but again, you need a particular set of skills in order to do that. You gotta hire a team. Again, probably not something you wanna be doing or have the ability to be doing. And then you have the option of maybe exchanging your skill set to provide value for somebody else. So say, for example, you could be a graphic designer, you could code a website, you could do some copywriting. You could basically just do something in exchange for money, but again, Although this might give you the geographical freedom to choose wherever it is that you want to work, you can basically be a digital nomad working off your laptop, you're still a slave to your time. And it's not something that's gonna be that financially rewarding, particularly in today's day and age when the competition is so fierce for those basic skills. We are living in the age of the creator economy and this economy is growing rapidly every single year. Never has there been a point in time when so many content creators have been able to set up multiple businesses and make millions off the audience and the brand that they have built. It's literally something which has no barriers to entry. All you have to do, as I said before, pick up a camera, start creating content, start uploading and get on your mission to building your brand and building your audience. Attention is the new currency. Everybody is literally on their phones, scrolling or on their TV, watching YouTube. That is where everyone's attention is at. So you need to decide, are you going to be a consumer of content or are you going to be a creator of content? If you had to ask me, Mike, imagine, let's say you go back to being 20 years old, you have no skill sets. What would you do? Start from scratch. What would you do? Realistically, I wouldn't do anything different. In fact, I would just pick up a camera and just start creating content immediately. Of course, I wouldn't be in a position to be able to educate people or offer my skills or services because I don't really have anything to offer at that point in time. I have those skills to learn in my 20s. But what I would still do is just go and document my life. I would create videos to entertain people, okay, or show people something that they've not seen before. There's literally an endless amount of options that you can choose to do in terms of the type of content that you create that isn't revolving around education. The lifestyle which I live now and which many people have often said is like the dream life is realistically the life which I have always dreamed of having. I've been able to build this for myself where I have the freedom to do what I want. I can literally wake up every day and choose what it is that I am spending my time doing. I don't have to worry about money anymore. Financially, I'm absolutely fine. I have millions of followers, which I'm hoping enjoy the content which I put out there, that I have hopefully been able to influence their life in a positive way. And the amount of opportunities that I get my way is absolutely ridiculous. Like I've had to turn down millions worth of opportunities in terms of money because I just don't want to do it. I prefer to just be associated with things which I have built myself and own or things which I really believe in and care about. And it's a pretty amazing position to be in, to be able to just tell people to fuck off. Like it's the point where you've got fuck you money, where you don't have to do things that you don't want to do because you need the money. That is honestly one of the best feelings that you could possibly have you know, just doing the things which you genuinely want to do. And of course, this transition from me being a personal trainer to doing what I do today, from being in the position that I'm in today, it's not gone unnoticed. In fact, I've noticed in the past couple of years, I get more people asking me career related questions and questions on branding and how to build a following more so than fitness questions. And bear in mind, a couple of years ago, all I got asked was fitness related questions. So there has been a transition. And I feel as though I'm one of the few people that have been able to actually move away from doing purely fitness related stuff to being a person that is doing many different things and has got his fingers in a couple of different pies. Now, I don't want to be the only person that's living this life. I don't want to be selfish. 
I want you guys to also experience it as well. And I truly believe that everybody has the opportunity to be in this position. If they work hard, if they take the risks, if they get out of their comfort zone, and if they spend their time on the things which are going to have the highest return on investment and creating content is one of those things that is going to have the highest return. But I can imagine a lot of people don't know where to even begin. Okay, how do you even get started? What are you, what content are you gonna make? Like, what can you even offer to the world? And that is exactly why I have created my new course, The Digital Playbook. This is a step-by-step -step guide which teaches you exactly what it is that you need to do. There's eight modules, all of them go into great detail about how to get started, how to overcome the fear of speaking on camera, how to improve your presentation skills, your speaking skills, deciding what content to make, what equipment to get, what type of people you need to hire in your team, how to put out your first few videos, how to scale your channel, how to monetize your channel, and how to basically play to your strengths and work upon your weaknesses. And on top of that, anything lifestyle related in terms of how to network, how to relocate, how to put yourself in the best position you can possibly put yourself in so that success is simply the only option available to you. You just cannot fail, okay? All the mistakes I've made, all the obstacles I've overcome, everything is literally there for you to learn from. And of course, there's a community area as well, which is gonna have a whole load of like-minded individuals inside of where you can support each other, share your journey. And of course, you can ask me questions or ask me for advice relating to anything that has to do with your own journey. And I wanna make it very clear, this is not just for people within the fitness industry, this is for all industries. This is for anybody who wants to start creating content online and anyone who wants to build a brand, build a following and to monetize their audience and live a friggin' amazing life, like the life which I live today. It's only $495, which in my opinion is an absolute bargain considering the amount of value which is included in the course. And if you really want to, you can split that payment into two installments. So what are you waiting for? Are you going to continue working that job that you hate and live the life you don't really want to live? Repeating the year which you had last year and the year before? Or do you want to do something different? Do you want to take that risk? Do you want to take a gamble? Do you want to start doing what you've always wanted to do and live the life that you've always wanted to live? You tell me. I'll see you on the inside.